Hey guys, Miles here at Tactical Hive coming to you from the Philippines. If you've been shooting in the competition world for some time, you have probably noticed that there are a lot of amazing shooters who come from the Philippines. And that's one of the reasons why we're out here training. Today, we've been training with Bro Texon, who's a, a really good shooter on the circuit. And you know, it really made me think about why are there so many great shooters from the Philippines? One thing stands out clearly, and most probably the biggest thing is that they train really effectively, they train hard. I mean, they take this extremely seriously. For example, today, before training with me, bro was shooting from like 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. and just hammering at it. He was like, he was showing me his battle scars just from the training session today where he's all cut up and callous. But it just goes to show that, I mean, they're really serious about this. It's become more than a passion. It's really kind of, a, you know, obsession, profession, whatever you want to call it. So they work really hard. But another thing I noticed is that they get a lot of support from the country they build huge facilities for example we're shooting in this facility that has 42 bays 42 bays right and not only that in these bays they pretty much do everything for you so shooters can focus on what's most important and that is shooting right so if you're from the U.S., for example, what are some things that you possibly probably complain about? You don't want to pick up brass. You don't want to, you know, reload your bullets. You don't want to jam your mags or you don't want to arrange targets, things like that. Well, here's an interesting thing for those of you who are not aware. In the Philippines, let's say at this range, not only do they have massive training facilities, but all this setup right here, you don't even have to lift a finger, right? You tell workers here to set up the course of fire exactly the way that you want it. And in between, you can have them change things. So you don't have to touch a target at all. So that saves a ton of time, right? Where you can focus on what's important to you. Maybe while they're arranging a course of fire, you're dry firing. Maybe, maybe that's the case, right? Taping targets, you get workers taping all the targets. So once again, efficiency, you can do other things while they're taping the targets. Picking up brass, you don't have to worry about picking up brass, they do that for you. Workers will even jam the mags for you, right? So you don't even have to, you don't, if you didn't want to, you don't have to touch a bullet, right? So not only do they work hard, they have the perfect combination of working extremely hard, right? And being extremely efficient with their training sessions. So as you can imagine here, Bro Texon, who we're training with today, he was shooting from nine to three. Now keep in mind that from nine to three, he doesn't have to jam mags. He does not have to set up courses of fire. He does not need to tape targets, nothing, right? That means he's focused solely on his performance and improving. And to me, that is huge, right? So for those of us in the US, you know, we, we, you know, we can train smart, but we're not getting the most when we think about other people out there. Now, again, the government also is a huge supporters of shooting and that helps a lot because they want to see Filipino shooters succeed. So I thought it'd be just awesome to kind of share this with you guys because it's, it's something one government, you know, if you, if you are, you have the good support from whatever it is, an organization, that's going to matter. If you have sponsors who are really pushing you, that's going to help matter. If there's anything yet you can do to make your training more efficient, then perhaps, you know, we'll, we'll be like these shooters from the Philippines who are man, really, you know, they're really kicking ass on the circuit because they can focus. So wanted to create this short video for you guys. Those of you who are not aware, there's a lot of things that can make you really good. Uh, nothing's going to beat hard work, but um, if you have hard work and efficiency, then I think, you know, sky's the limit. So I hope you guys like this uh, quick video. Please like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this.